Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. Today we're going to talk about how to sideboard with Blue Red Phoenix in Pioneer, which is making a comeback, which is sweet because this deck is awesome. Now if you'd like a deck tech explaining the cards in the deck, my card choices, and things like that, I posted that yesterday. You should check that out. Today we're just going to talk about how to sideboard against the top 10 most popular decks in Pioneer. So let's jump into it. Before we get into the top 10 most popular decks, I feel like it would be a good idea to talk about the sideboard cards and what they're used for. So Aethergust is basically for any deck that plays red or green spells or permanents you care about. Disdainful Stroke, same thing, but for things that cost mana value 4 or greater. Negate, very good for winning counter wars and for stopping combo decks. Abraid is a very good all-around removal spell for artifacts, but also can hit most creatures in the format. Young Pyromancer are very good for going wide, especially against removal heavy decks. Mystical Dispute for blue decks like Spirits or for winning Counter Wars. Brotherhoods end against creature decks or decks that go wide. Saheeli is just kind of Young Power Mancer 3 and 4. And Crackling Drake is for these decks that we need more fuel, we need more threats. They deal with our plan that we're trying to accomplish pretty well post-board. And we just need more cards. So let's jump into it with the most popular deck in Pioneer, which is Nykthos Ramp. Against Monogreen Devotion, Nykthos Ramp one might say. We are siding in Aethergust. We are bringing in Disdainful Stroke. We're bringing in the Negate because of Planeswalkers and Storm. And we are siding out Lightning Axes because <laughs> the best Lightning Axes is killing a Mana Dork and that's not great. And we're going to be siding out a single Treasure Cruise because the big worry about this deck is that Mono Green just does things a little bit faster than we're able to keep up with and sometimes Treasure Cruise just rots in our hand. And so side sideboard against Mono Green Devotion. Against Rakdos Midrange, we are bringing in Negate, uh, mostly for like their removal spells, really good against Unlicensed Hurst, really good against Reckoner Bankbuster, really good against Fable of Mirrorbreaker, I like Negate a lot against Rakdos. Abraid just as an all-around removal spell for everything but Shieldred, um, and kills the artifacts that we care about that I've already listed off. And then we're going to bring in our Go Wide Suite and our Creature Suites, Young Pyromancer, Sahili, and Crackling Drake, just so we can maintain that long game with them. That being said, Thing and Ice is kind of medium because it can just die to Fatal Push. Galvanic Iteration is hard to get off through, like, Thought Seizes and Possible Duresses. Same reason with Temporal Trespass is not really a point of being cute. We can just, like, try to go along with them. I like Shaving a Lightning Axe as well. It's really important that all of our cards, like, do something. And we can continue using all the value out of all of our cards. If we discard anything but a Phoenix, Lightning Axe is pretty bad. We're keeping three in, though, for Shieldred. And then I'm also a fan of cutting the spike field hazard while there are lands. The front side does literally nothing, and we draw a bunch of cards. I'm not worried about having, like, red lands just gone. And we're going to shave this last thing in ice. I guess I didn't grab three. I meant to grab three. So this is sideboard against Rakdos Midrange, which is the eighth most popular deck. And against Rakdos Sack, we also bring in two Brotherhood, and we bring out the last thing in ice and shave a charter course. So this is against Rakdos Sack. So we kill two birds, one stone with that one. The third most popular deck is Azorius Spirits. By the way, I'm sorry if like that last little bit was a little confusing, my bad. Against Spirits, we are bringing in Missile Dispute, obviously, because it counters literally everything in the deck besides sideboard cards. Uh, a Braid is solid removal. Also a reasonable fan of Brotherhoods, and it's it's annoying when it gets countered, but like very good if it doesn't. I'm not a fan of bringing in the Negates. Two mana matters. We are going to keep in the Spell Pierces, though, uh, to try to fight that counter war. But mana efficiency is really important against uh, Azoria Spirits. That being said, because they have so much counter magic, uh, there's no point in being cute. We're going to cut the Trimporal Trespass and Galvanic Iterations. And because the mana efficiency matters so much, I like cutting all whoops all of the pieces of the puzzles. Um, just because like if we're spending a turn spending three mana that doesn't affect the board, I don't like that. Which means we're also bringing in the two Crackling Drakes, uh, which means we can kind of fight in the air a little bit and be blocking and stuff. Uh, so size sideboard against Azoria Spirits. The fourth most popular deck is Blue-White Control. Against Blue-White Control, we are bringing in Mystical Dispute. We're bringing in more threats. So we're bringing in our Go Wide Suite, our Young Power Mancers, our Sahili, and our Crackling Drakes. Obviously, bringing in Negate and Disdainful Stroke. Be able to deal with our Planeswalkers and like uh, Board Wipes. A lot of the Blue-White decks are playing Sunfall instead of Spring Break now, which means it can be countered. And then we are bringing out our Removal. Oh, that's very easy cuts. We gotta find two more cards. Uh, Thing and Ice isn't returning anything to the hand. Um, so it's really just like a 7 8 we have to work for. Um, so we're gonna shave two of those. And so this high sideboard against Blue Control. <clears throat> the fifth most popular deck is Mono White Humans. I guess Mono White Humans, obviously, the best card is Brotherhoods. And 
Uh, we're also going to bring in a braid just for extra removal. And then I'm actually a really good fan of bringing in the creature suite. Just to have more things to block and possibly trade. And so I like bringing in that whole creature suite. And one thing to understand is this deck is way too fast to be cute with it. So we're taking out Temporal Trespass and Galvanic Iteration. We are going to be cutting the spell pierces. I mean, it's nice when it hits rest in peace, but eh, it's bad against most of the deck. Uh, we're going to bring in out our ops because we don't want to be spending our mana on things that don't matter and shaving a piece of the puzzle for the same reason that we shave a piece of the puzzle against spirits. Uh, so side sideboard against humans. By the way, the reason we keep in the rest piece of the puzzle and we against humans is that if we untap after that piece of the puzzle we kind of just win because we just get so much card selection and such uh where against spirits piece of the puzzle can just be countered and then we lose for spending three mana uh the sixth most popular deck is hidden strings lotus field against this deck we're bringing a mystical dispute we're bringing an aether gust we're bringing a disdainful stroke we're bringing a negate all great ways to stop their combo these are the cards we really want but we're going to bring in a few more extra cards because there's a bunch of cards in the main deck that do nothing so we're going to be bringing out all of our removal, which means we're going to be bringing in our creature suite just as more threats, which means we're going to bring out a few extra things. Uh, we're going to be shaving some pieces of the puzzle. I like shaving two pieces and two treasure crews uh, just because like th this matchup's very quick. We just need to be killing as fast as possible, interrupting their combo, and we just don't have time often to set up with pieces of the puzzle and treasure crews. Uh, so side sideboard against Lotus Field. The seventh most popular deck is Abzan Greasefang. Against Greasefang, we are bringing in a Braid, obviously, because we can uh, stop the Greasefang and interrupt the combo. And we're going to be shaving a piece of the puzzle just because I don't want to tap out uh, Sorcery Speed against this deck. Uh, but it can be good in the long game. I think we interact with this deck really, really well, and I just only like bringing in that one card. Um, I like the rest of my main deck against Greasefang. The eighth most popular deck, Rakdos Midrange, we already talked about when we talked about Rakdos Sack, uh, which brings us to the ninth most popular deck, Team or Creativity. Against Creativity, we are bringing Aether Gust because it interrupts the combo. Disdainful Stroke because it interrupts the combo. And Negate because it, you guessed it, interrupts the combo. Mystical Dispute is also pretty reasonable against the rest of their deck. And like three mana counter spell is also like fine. Also helps us win the counter wars that they are inevitably going to be having with us. That being said, they normally combo with their artifacts. Uh, not necessarily the creatures they basically just have fable for creatures and i'm really not interested in interacting with that so we'd like to take out all of these we kind of can't um so we're going to keep some number of fiery impulse in there's no reason to keep lightning axe in over fiery impulse uh, fire impulse deals with the creatures that we care about um and this is how i sideboard against creativity well, side note one kind of cool thing you can do against creativity is like leave thing and ice on one purposefully let them combo and then flip thing and ice hilarious hilarious then the last deck we're going to talk about how to sideboard against is the Mirror Match. The Mirror Match is the 10th most popular deck in Pioneer. We're going to be bringing in Mystical Disputes. We're going to be bringing in our Creature Suite just because there's a lot of answers. We want to make sure we can kill our opponents. Ah, kill our opponents. And we're bringing out uh, a number of removal spells. Um, I like kind of take a split a little bit and then a few Thing and Ice just so we can shave here and there. We're bringing in a lot of threats. It's kind of hard to make Thing and Ice good. And similar to like the mid-range decks, like the Rakdos mid-range, Rakdos sack, and stuff like that, we really want every single card to matter. So cards like Lightning Axe, except for exactly in the face of Crackling Drake or uh, Fire Impulse, or excuse me, a Crackling Drake or a Thing and Ice, uh, they're pretty bad. So that's how I sideboard the mirror match. So there you have how to sideboard against the top 10 most popular decks in Pioneer with Blue Red Phoenix. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on social media. Links are above me and in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.